It was a brutal murder that went unsolved for nearly 30 years. Robin Lawrence was stabbed to death in her Springfield home while her husband was away. Her two-year-old daughter left to roam the house until the crime was discovered days later. Advances in DNA technology ultimately led investigators to Stephen Smirk. And last September, he confessed to the crime in a videotaped interview with police. That confession was played in court today during Smirk's preliminary hearing. In it, Smirk says he did not know Robin Lawrence. He went to the house because his friends lived next door, so he was familiar with the neighborhood. He tells the detective, I knew I was going to kill somebody. I did not know who I was going to kill. When the detective continued to question Smirk, he says, you guys know what I did. I know what I did. I cut her up pretty good. But the defense says the confession doesn't match up with the actual details of the crime. Investigators found an open window on the back of the house with a cut screen. But in the confession, Smirk says he entered and exited through the sliding glass door. There was a telephone found in the bedroom where Lawrence was killed. The cord had been cut. Smirk says Lawrence didn't reach for the phone. The detective says, we found a phone cord cut in the bedroom. Smirk says, thank you for reminding me. She did reach for the phone. The autopsy report says Lawrence was stabbed dozens of times, but in the confession, Smirk only gives details about two wounds. DNA was found at the crime scene, and advances in technology helped track Smirk down in New York State. He voluntarily gave police a DNA sample and confessed to the crime. The prosecution tried to enter that DNA analysis into evidence today, but the judge said no. He said the defense wasn't given the proper written notice. The judge did find, however, that there was enough evidence to move the case forward to the next stage. And Stephen Smirk is due back in court April 18th. Megan McGrath, News 4.